Mangaroos Tutoring Services, Mathematics Classes Unequal Sharing Unequal Sharing is simply where we divide an amount between two persons or amongst three or more persons where the shares are not equal. For example, if we have $100, equal sharing would be where two persons will get 50 each. Unequal sharing would be where one person will get, for example, 40 and the other person will get 60. So one person is getting more than the other person, or in other words, one person is getting less than the other person. We have divided unequal sharing into three types, type 1, type 2, and type 3. We will begin with type 1. At this point, you can feel free to pause the video and attempt the questions before we go through the solutions. This is the easiest of the three types. Okay, let's begin. So for all three types, we have the same first step. We are going to determine who or what got less or least, depending on the amount of persons or things. So let's read. Question 1. 76 plums were shared between Tina and Crystal. Crystal got 10 less than Tina. So who got less? Of course, Crystal got less. So we need to represent Crystal's amount as an unknown amount. So we will use box or x to represent Crystal's amount. Some persons use x, but I prefer to use box. So we are going to use c as an abbreviation for Crystal. So C is equal to box. C is equal to box. Tina would be 10 more than Crystal. They told us that Crystal got 10 less than Tina. But since we want to start off by using the person who got less, we can interpret Crystal getting 10 less the same as Tina getting 10 more. So Tina is equal to 10, sorry, box plus 10, right? 10 more means plus 10. So that's step one. Step two is to find the total. So we are going to add Crystal's amount and Tina's amount. So that's two boxes. We can write that as box plus box, or we can write that as two times box plus 10. So 2 boxes plus 10 is 76. Right? Let me rearrange this as it's in the wrong place. So this should be second. This should be third. Okay. So 2 times box plus 10 is equal to the total 76 which they gave us. So we are going to work backwards. So I'll give you a quick example. If we have 2 times some number plus 1 is equal to 7, which we maybe can work mentally, we know that 2 times what? 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So how do we figure out what's in the box if we didn't know? Well, we will take away the 1 first, 7 minus 6, sorry, 7 minus 1 is 6, and then 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So let me write that again. 2 times what, or 2 times something plus 1 is equal to 7. So we are going to work backwards. 
instead of adding 1, we're going to subtract 1. And then instead of multiplying by 2, we are going to divide by 2. All right? 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And then 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So we are going to do the same thing here. We will, instead of adding 10, we will subtract 10, which is more or less the opposite. And instead of multiplying by 2, we will then divide by 2. 76 minus 10 is 66, and 66 divided by 2 is 33. So Crystal's share is 33 plums, and Tina got 10 more than Crystal. 33 plus 10 is 43, so that's 43 plums. That gives us the answer for A and B. Question 2. 66 cherries were shared between, so that's two persons, Simon and Ben. Simon got 12 more than Ben. So again, we are going to use the same approach. Determine who got less. So Ben got less since Simon got 12 more than him. So we are going, going to use box for Ben. And Simon is 12 more than Ben, so that's box plus 12. So that will be a total of two boxes, or two times box, plus 12 is equal to the total which they gave us to be 66. So we must minus 12, 66 minus 12 is 54. And then instead of multiplying by 2, we are going to divide by 2. 54 divided by 2 is 27. Who was box? Yes, Ben was box. So Ben's share is equal to 27. And Simon's share is 27 plus 12, which is 39. So A is 39 cherries. And Ben's amount is 27 cherries. Let's take a look at question 4. 83 cars were shared amongst Anna, Brianna, and Haley. Brianna got two more cars than Haley and Anna. How many cars did Brianna receive? How many cars did Haley receive? So, since Brianna got two more than both Haley and Anna, it means that Haley and Anna got an equal share. So we are going to use Haley equal to box and Anna equal to box since they both got less than Brianna. So Brianna will be two more. So that's box plus two. So that's a total of three boxes plus two is equal to the total 83 take away 2 will give you 81 and then 81 divided by 3 is equal to 27 so both Haley and Anna got 27 cars and Brianna got 27 plus 2 is 29 so that gives us the answer for A and B. Unequal sharing type 2. Type 2 is where we have an unequal sharing where one person is getting a certain amount times the other person. So for example, someone is getting two times or three times the amount of the other person. Or where we have one person is getting a fraction of the amount of the other person. So for example, someone is getting half the amount of the other person or a third of the amount of the other person. So at this point, you can feel free to pause the video and try the questions before I show the solutions. 
Example 1. Dave had 168 fruits. He shared it between his two friends, Kevin and Dylan. Kevin got twice as much as Dylan. How much did Dylan get? How much did Kevin get? So for all three types, we have this same first step, which is to determine who got, the, who got less or least. And then put that person equal to box. So in this case, we can see that Kevin got twice as much as Dylan, so Dylan got less. So Dylan is equal to box. So if Dylan is equal to box and Kevin got twice as much, then Kevin is equal to two boxes. Next, we must find the total. So if we add these boxes together, we will get three boxes which is the same as saying 3 times box. 3 times box is equal to 168, which is the total fruits. Three times some amount is equal to 168. So to find box, we must divide by three. 168 divided by three is equal to 56. Now remember, that Dylan is equal to box, so Dylan is 56 fruits. So that's part A. Part B, how much did Kevin get? Kevin got twice as much as Dylan, so that's 2 times 56, which is 112. So remember to put your units. Question 1. James spent 51 hours playing online games last week. He played Fortnite twice as much, twice as long as he played Animal Crossing. How many hours did he play Fortnite? How many hours did he play Animal Crossing? So we can see that he played Fortnite twice as long. So Animal Crossing will be box. Fortnite will be twice as much, so that's two boxes. We have a total of three boxes equal to the total amount of hours. So one box will be 51 divided by 3, which is equal to 17. So Animal Crossing is 17 hours. And Fortnite will be twice as much. 17 times 2 is 34. So there we have the two answers. So don't forget to put your units. Let's take a look at question three. John and Sam shared cuts of plywood of total length 76 meters. John got three times as much as Sam. What total length did John cut what total length did Sam cut? So of course we can see that Sam got less. So Sam would be equal to box. And John would be equal to three times as much. So that's three boxes. Altogether, this will give us four boxes, which is equal to the total 76 meters. So one box will be Instead of multiplying by 4, we are going to divide by 4. 76 divided by 4 is equal to 19. So Sam got 19 meters. And John got 3 times as much, 3 19s. So that's 54 meters. So far we have seen type 2 where we have someone getting a certain times as much such as 2 times or 3 times. Let's take a look where type 2 is where someone is getting a fraction of the other person's amount. So let's take a look at example 2. A 
Ivan shared his 78 stickers between his two sisters. So even though there are three persons, it's being shared between two persons. So that's important to note as well. Jada got half of the amount, so Jada got less. So Jada will be equal to one box and Morgan will be equal to two boxes. Now let's take a look at that again. Jada got half of the amount that Morgan got. So remember, we want to put a person who is getting less as box. Instead of saying, or instead of writing, Jada got half the amount that Morgan got, which would be half of two would be one. We can also say that Morgan got twice as much as Jada. So we are kind of flipping it around and writing it differently. Instead of saying Jada's amount is half of Morgan's amount, we are saying that Morgan's amount is twice as much as Jada's amount. So that way we don't have to work with fractions. So this gives us a total of three boxes, which is equal to 78. So we must divide by three. 78 divided by three is 26. So Jada got 26 stickers and Morgan got twice that amount, which is 52 stickers. Question six. A barrel contains 720 liters of water. Kyle poured some into a large bottle and put the remainder in a smaller bottle. The amount in the small bottle was a third of the amount in the large bottle. How much water was in the large bottle? How much water was in the small bottle? So we are seeing where one amount is a third of the other amount. So of course a small bottle has less than the large bottle. So small bottle would be one box. Instead of saying the small is a third of the large, we can say that the large is three times as much as a small. Right? If we draw a circle and we divide the circle into three parts, we have another circle. We divide that also into three parts. So we're going to take off one box, so that's one third. We're going to take off three here, one, two, three. So that's a total of one, two, three, four parts, where one person is getting one and the other person is getting three. Right? So that's a total of four boxes is equal to 720. 720 divided by four is 180. So the small bottle has 180 liters, while the large bottle has, let me just make this correction here. The large bottle has three times the amount of the small bottle, which gives us 540 liters. So we have the answers for A and B. Unequal sharing type 3. You will find that type 3 normally has a lot more information and most times has more than two persons. Actually, I think it's all always more than two persons. Okay, so with this type, we would have where we are compare. We have three different persons or more. Definitely more than two persons, and where we can determine who is getting less. We normally hear terms like one person is getting more, or one person is getting less. We don't hear terms like twice the amount or a half of the amount like in type 2. So it's similar to type 1 
but we have more than two persons. Okay, so let's attempt a few questions. So now you can pause the video if you like, try the questions on your own, and then look forward to the solution. Example one. Suresh had 120 collectible figures. That should be collectible figurines. He shared them among his three kids, Betty, Susie, and Macy. Now, although we have four persons, we are only focused on the three persons that the figurines are being shared amongst. Susie got two more than Betty, and Macy got one more than Betty. So again, the first step applies to all three types. Start by determining who got the least amount. So that's not hard to determine here. Susie got more than Betty and Macy got more than Betty. So Betty got the least. So Betty will be one box. Susie will be box plus two because they said two more. So that's plus two. And Macy got one more than Betty. So that's Betty amount plus one. Step two, find the total. So we are going to add the three boxes. So we can write that as three times box. And we are going to add the numbers. So we're adding the boxes separate from the numbers. So that's three boxes plus three. Three boxes plus three is equal to 120, the total that they gave us. And now we are going to determine the amount for one box. So we are going to subtract three. 120 minus three is 117. Then 117 divided by three is 39. So Betty, who is equal to box, is equal to 39. Susie is two more, so that's 41. Macy is one more, so that's 40. Now again, remember to put your units. So this one is similar to example one. So we are going to skip this one. And let's see if we can find one that's a little bit different. This one is also similar. So you can feel free to try this one as well. Right, I think example two is different. Let's see. A triangle has a perimeter of 109 centimeters. The three sides are labeled A, B, and C. Side A is two centimeter greater than side B. Side C is three centimeter greater than side A. What is the length of A, B, and C? So we must first decide which one is the least in length or which one is shortest in length. So let's read that again. Side A is greater than B. So we know it's not A. And side C is greater than A. So it's obviously B. B is the shortest. So B will be equal to box. A is two more than B. So that's box plus two. And C, now pay attention to this. Now they are relating side C to side A. So we must also do the same. Don't relate side C to side B. Some persons make the mistake and say, well, C will be box plus three. No, that's wrong. C is three more than whatever A is. So that's box plus two for A and then add three. So this will total to five. 2 plus 3 is 5. So we are going to total everything here. 3 boxes, or 3 times box, plus 2 and 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7. 
three boxes plus seven, notice that we add the boxes separate from the numbers. Three boxes plus seven is equal to 109. So we are going to subtract seven first. 109 minus seven is 102. And then we divide by three. 102 divided by three is 34. So B is 34. So that's 34 centimeters. A is two more than that. So that's 36 centimeters. And C is three more than A, which is 39 centimeters. So let's go again and see if we can identify a question that is even different to this. So this one is similar. Right, this one is different. So now with type 3, we have where someone is getting less. So we have more and we have less. So there should be a space here between 5 and more. Okay, so let's begin. Trisha owns 75 Legos. She shared them among three of her friends, Mira, Kavita and Lisa. Kavita got five more than Mira and Lisa got two less than Mira. So, Kavita can't be that person because she got more than Mira. Lisa will be the person because she got even less than Mira. Right? So, Lisa will be box. Mira got two more than Lisa, so that's box plus two. Kavita is five more than Mira, so we put Mira's amount and then add five. So, next step is a total. Three boxes, which is three times box, plus these numbers here, two plus two plus five will give us nine. Three boxes plus nine is equal to the total, which they gave us to be 75. Next, we subtract nine. 75 take away nine is 66. 3 times some amount is equal to 66, so we divide by 3. 66 divided by 3 is 22. So Lisa's amount is 22 Lagos. Mira's amount is 2 more than Lisa's amount, so that's 24 Lagos. And Kavita is 5 more than Mira's amount, so that's 29 Lagos. And for the last one, I will allow you all to try this one on your own and then you can check the answer. It's somewhat similar to the one that we did before. This is a bonus question. Type 1, 2 and 3 are the common ways that unequal sharing questions come. This is a question that is similar to one of the past paper questions. And of course, there is almost no limit to the way in which they can design or structure these types of questions. So we must learn to think critically. Okay, let's take a look at this question. Legos were shared among three friends. Diddy got 51 pieces, Andrew got 77, and Shelley got 82. How many pieces must Andrew and Shelley give to Didi in order for all of them to have an equal share? So we can say that they started off by having an unequal share and now we want them to have an equal share. So what we must do for this question is add the amount. So 51, 77 and 82 So we are pulling the shares together. So 7 plus 2 plus 1 is 10. 7 plus 8 is 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. And now we are going to share the total equally amongst the three persons. So 
that's 210 divided by 3, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 21, 7, so that's 70. Each person should get 70 in order for the shares to be equal. Now currently they have amounts that is not equal to 70. So Andrew has more than 70, so he must give some to Didi. And Shelly has more than 70, so she must give some to Didi. So Andrew has 77, so 77 take away 70. That extra 7 he will give to Didi. And Shelly has 82, so 82 take away 70 will give us 12. So Shelly will give 12 to Didi. Right, so let's call this A for Andrew. Andrew's amount will be 7 Legos. And B, Shelly's amount will be 12 Legos. So we can stop here, but I'll go further to show you all that if we add 7 and 12 and 51, we will get, when you work that out, you will get 70. So now all three persons has 70. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video to be helpful, please feel free to contact us for more information about our classes.